nostrils Try to flag me around Nobody seemed to know me Everybody passed me by Hey, welcome to the channel. It's all about blues harmonica. Um, today I'm going to look at uh, Crossroads uh, by Robert Johnson, blues tune. Um, great Robert Johnson, of course, died very, very young from way back when. And I said many times before, with him it's all about playing everything at the same time. That's what made him the genius. Okay, so it's a, it's a standard blues tune. You can play it a thousand billion different ways. This is the way I do it. Um, I notice on the net that uh, some guy takes a, like a riff from, say, a rock band and, and then um, everybody else seems to jump on that one bandwagon. Um, and of course, you need to be uh, taking the ideas and then uh, doing your own thing with it, doing your own way. You know, it's, uh, it's important. The way I'm going to show you this is um, because, and the way I've done it like this is because I'm steering away from that kind of rock rhythm. Uh, okay, I'm more interested in uh, in the Afro-Cuban 12-8 and the New Orleans thing and everything put together to get uh, to get these kind of things going. And you've got the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you've got the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'll take the middle one out. So you get a good blues drummer or jazz drummer, the blues drummer, they're playing these two to create this shuffle and they put the two together. The idea behind it is so that when you come to solo, you can go anywhere you want. You're not cut into a rock pattern. You have the freedom to play in 2-4 and to play into 6-8 and 12-8. You can shift the time and then you can improvise along those lines and you can take it just about anywhere you wish to go. And you can be driven by the percussion at the back, or you can lead it. All right, it's very, very important. It comes from you've got your New Orleans and your Afro Cuban 12 eights, and this is very, very important. So, okay, so might be a lot for anybody to, to get around there, but it's just it's, it's very important when you're learning to improvise so that you're not stifled and you're not caught with just hearing a thump of, of, a, of a kick drum that you hear in rock music all the time. So let's pitch straight in there. I've got a C harp here. I didn't do the demo at the start with the with the C. I can't remember which one it was. Never mind. This is a C harp. Two draw. Four eight draw. Four eight blow. Uh, three six draw. Three six blow. One four draw. Two five draw. Back to three six blow. change it all the time. If you listen to people like uh, John Lee Hooker and all these guys, these great blues players, even when they're playing something, the same tune, night after night after night, they'll approach it and come in differently every single time. And that's what I aim to do when I play. And as you should do as well, even when you're just starting out or you've been playing for a while. You shouldn't be playing a set figure at all. Not only that, it'll, uh, you know, you'll get brain dead for crying out loud if you just keep playing the same stuff. This idea, this idea of having these two underlying rhythms off the percussion gives you that uh, freedom to go wherever you want, even when you're at the, 
early stages for improvisation. Okay, so we've got that, uh, and then um, what I did, I put this. So a two draw, three draw step, four blow, and then bend and scoop the four up onto five, back to four. Uh, then four blow, three draft step, max two draw. On to three to half step. And it's just repeated. If you play that a lot and do that an awful lot, you'll start getting your own nuances and your own lines on it and all the rest of it. Okay? And it's all about, we're all trying to get bam, 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 so we're trying to get this this idea going to give you the, to give you the, the differences. Okay, now we move on to a forward chord change. Now with, with Robert Johnson, he he doesn't actually. He just plays dead straight on four measures, as bog standard as you want in his actual approach. But most guitar players, particularly resonant players and guys like that, will shoot into the four chord and they'll sing on the four chord and they'll play pretty straight. They'll have been playing figures over the first four measures. So when we go into the four chord here, I'm going uh, four eight blow and I'm putting a little uh, almost like a bell rhythm pattern of percussion there. You can just play it like that but if you, the more you listen to percussion you can do with it once you've got the basics. So, 4-8 blow, 3 to half step, and then back to your original. Okay, one more change. Uh, now you can play up here, Which I didn't do at the start, I wish I had done because it, it just sounds good up there, but the first time you ever do it through sounds better and more in line if you put it down here. So 1-4 draw, 1-4 blow, 1-4 draw, 2-5 draw, 1-4 draw. And go to your 4 chord. And See now I'm taking little fragmentations. Alright, see that? Then we've got all that rhythm going. Then that gives you a platform for you to aim at when you're going to start improvising. And it opens you up to do just about anything. Okay, I hope that helps some people. I hope you enjoyed that. It's different. It's not been uh, the way that perhaps you've seen on the net already. Something different, and then you can find something different from it. Crossroads, um, as I said before, has a lot of um, different forms and meanings as well. Um, okay, you can get me for lessons on Harpo the Healer Wix if you want a full, full uh, in-depth thing on this. If, if that's not enough, um, you know, check my podcasts out and uh, my website on Harpo the Healer Wicks. And like all these things, I always say, I catch you on the rebound.